Hey, what up? This is Lloyd. And if you didn't know this is Lloyd, well, fuck you. And I'm filling in the blank with all that digital. This is me. So please accept me for who I am. And please accept me for what I do. My favorite project today is, and this is a hard question to answer, but I would say Street Love because it was my most successful album to date, but most importantly, it was the first time that I actually took my career into my own hands by taking the song You with Lil Wayne and just uh, leaking it independently. Atlanta is Magic City Monday. One key to success is making sure that when you have weaknesses, you have people who have strengths that fill in those blanks. The craziest thing a fan ever did to me was not crazy because it was just uh, someone's mom pulling their titties out uh, and running after my tour bus with their kids on the sidewalk. My favorite song that I've ever made is True. The first time I performed True live, I was in Augusta, Georgia. I was rocking with Young Jeezy. And uh, when the music came on, I started to remember all the reasons why I made it, all the things that I was singing about. And I just started crying on the stage. Uh, I was a little embarrassed. So after the show, I went backstage. My whole family came out to watch the show. I, I told my family, I said, guys, I was crying on the stage. And my aunt says, I was crying too. So that's, that's definitely my favorite song. One artist I would like to work with that I haven't worked with, but I dream of working with her is Sade because I think she just embodies what a beautiful, strong, mysterious uh, individual uh, can be. I like the fact that she takes her time to say things that really matter. I like how she really believes in the concept of love in her music. And I really, really enjoy just the tone and the smoothness that is mixed in her voice. My favorite thing about women is the fact that there is no life that can begin without a woman's love. The first thing I bought when I got my first big check was a guest watch with like some little quote unquote diamonds in the bezel for my mom. And uh, I think it cost me 150 bucks. And to me, that was a Rolex. And I bought that for her, I gave it to her. And she thought that that was the most amazing gift she ever had. The worst dating experience I had involved a girl who picked me up on an old ass cafe racer motorcycle, all right? Picked me up, had a helmet waiting for me, I got on the back of the bike holding on to her for dear life, and she's ripping and running through New York traffic, yelling and screaming at every moving thing. Get the fuck, what the fuck are you doing? Get the fuck out of here! And when I first met her, she was so quiet and just so sweet. And then I got on the bike with her, and it's like, what the fuck is going on? I was, I was so scared. Murder Inc. was, is, and always will be a reflection of a certain type of black excellence that everyone should be able to identify with at some point in their lives. Hey, what up, this is Lloyd, and I've just filled in the blanks with all Dev Digital.